Hey guys, I'm here today with my friend Olu and we're gonna work on fixing his shoulder impingement. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today is all about shoulder impingement. Now, I'm gonna have Olu get under the bar because he's having some pain in the front side of his shoulder when he's pressing overhead. So I'm gonna have him do this exercise and let's rate the pain zero to 10. And we're gonna see if we can fix it in real time. So you feel a little bit of pain at that top range? Yeah. Zero to 10, how bad is it? 10's the worst pain you could think of. I think of five. Like a five? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's come on over here. Now, guys, shoulder impingement is a really bad junk term that could mean a lot of different things that are going on within the shoulder joint. So you have to have a proper evaluation to really find what's the real cause. What's the root cause? So I'm gonna have Olu jump on his back, head down on this side. So what we're gonna do is first look at shoulder mobility shoulder flexibility to see if this is a potential cause. Now, what he's gonna do is we're gonna do a lat test because a lot of times stiff lats can limit our end position of our shoulder end range and lead to that pinching pain. So in an internally rotated position right here, I'm gonna hold his shoulder blade down and then test going overhead. Now, right there, you're already feeling pain, yeah. right? Okay, so we didn't go very high. Let's externally rotate and then see if we can get any further. That's a lot better. No pain with that, huh? It's still on the bottom, except at the bottom. bottom. At the very top, you yeah. feel some. So here's the deal right now. A simple screen to see if lat flexibility is a potential contributor is to test length of the lat muscles. Now, in an internally rotated position, the lats are actually shortened. So if because he has pain here that limits him, but he can get further flexion overhead with the arm externally rotated with the lat on a stretch, lat flexibility is not his cause for shoulder impingement. Now, if you found that you could go much further this way and then externally rotated you were limited, that would be a lat flexibility issue and there are other videos I have on my YouTube that can help you with that. But what we know, lats aren't the problem for him. So what we're going to find out is how actually his strength and stability plays in part. Roll over on your stomach. Now, I want you to put your arm up to the side like a T. So hold right here. So come over here, Evan, so you can watch this. Hold it up here as strong as you can. Okay, hold, 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 don't let me push down. That's a little tough for you to hold up there, right? Okay, now let's hold it up like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it right there. I'm gonna try to push down with two fingers. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh man, that's tough. Are you holding up as hard as you can? Yeah. Hold it, strong, strong, strong. Man, see, I can still push you down right there. What these tests are doing are looking at the muscles that run on the back side of the shoulder, your mid trap, your rotator cuff muscles, and then in this position, we sort of bias a little bit more of low trap. Now these muscles are very helpful at maintaining the position and stability of the back of the shoulder joint. Let's look at some anatomy real quick. Evan, let's come on over here and we're gonna look at our friend Tommy. Now, if we look deep at the shoulder, it's basically like a golf ball sitting on a golf tee. Now, as you move your arm, all the muscles that surround your joint on the front, on the back, your rotator cuff muscles, they work with the bigger muscles like your deltoid, your pecs, your lats, to maintain the center of the joint. So they maintain the golf ball in the center of the golf tee. Now, if you have an imbalance where the muscles on the back side of the shoulder aren't doing their job, aren't pulling their weight compared to the muscles on the front side. You create this problem where the shoulder is moving a little bit off axis and things can smash together up front as you go overhead, AKA one reason for having a uh, shoulder joint impingement. So one of the most common reasons is a imbalance where these muscles aren't very strong. Now, when I had Olu's arm way up here, we were testing again some of these muscles that run down here, like the mid and low trap, and they were not pulling their weight and it was causing that arm to drop back down. So what we're gonna do is in real time today, work on a couple strength exercises for the back side of the shoulder to improve shoulder stability. And then I'm gonna have him come on his back and look at how far he can move his arm overhead and see if that transfers into a better overhead press with less pain today. So first things first, I'm gonna grab a band. 
I'm gonna have you step on the ground like this. Okay. So left shoulder, so we're gonna be in right leg stance. This is called D2 flexion okay. because we're moving in this PNF pattern. Nothing, okay. that's a little bit more of the science side of things. Okay. Basically, yeah. we're doing a diagonal pull. Okay. Diagonal. In this position right here, I have the uh, band jammed under my, hand, uh, my foot. In this position, I'm going to pull up and out at an angle and I'm going to hold it for five seconds. Okay. I'm gonna come back down, and this is still an active position, hold here for three seconds. Okay. So you're coming up and out, five seconds, down, three seconds right here. Working really hard, don't let so that help you. you're bringing down the hand shoulder height. Exactly, just to shoulder height. Don't relax it all the way okay. back down, and make sure at the top, you don't wanna shrug. shrug. Exactly. So let's try this. So down on a knee. Exactly. Arms straight out in front. Now, you're gonna come up at an angle. Is that pain-free? A little bit. Okay, only go up to the pain-free position. Don't push into pain. Okay. Okay, so start right there. Very good, now pull with these muscles back here a little bit more. There you go, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, five seconds, and then when you come back down, just to right here. Okay. Very good. Yep, you can feel that sort of snapping around back yeah. here. Okay, five second hold and then back down. And as you go through, you may be able to go a little bit higher with this. Very good. So we're working in that diagonal plane of motion and working on a lot of these muscles that run on the back side of the shoulder, like your mid and your low trap. And they're going to help support the joint. And again, working on that imbalance where the muscles on the front side of the shoulder are relatively a little bit weaker or not controlling the shoulder joint as well. I want you to do eight reps of this today. How's that feeling so far? Good. You feel these muscles burning pretty good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Less pain? Yeah. Good. Three seconds right there. Making sure that we're not shrugging up here as well. Some people, as they come up, they'll shrug that shoulder up to try to cheat. Very good. Okay, one more. Very good. Hold for a couple seconds. Slow back down. Very good. All right, good with that. All right, so the next exercise I'm gonna show you is gonna be with a band. This is called the upper extremity matrix. And we're just gonna do it against the wall right here, against the squat you flag. What you're gonna do is have your hands in this position okay. against the wall, okay? And our left arm is going to go out to the side and then slow back. Then you're gonna go down at an angle, slow back, okay. and then up at an angle. Now, with the right side With stationary. your right side stationary. Now, the idea behind this is the band very easy, especially okay. for a big, strong guy. So you could easily get here and just pop it out like that. Yeah. That's not gonna help us with stability, yeah. right? So you're gonna be here and go very slow on the way back. Okay. And make sure that your elbow stays completely straight. Okay. Okay? Try that. So is the band sitting on the wrist or on the Just hand? a little bit, it can be on the hand. Right there. Yep, that's good. Okay, so from right there, go out to the side and then slow on the way back. Okay, down and out. Very good. Slow on the way back. Up and out. Slow on the way back. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Feel these muscles working. Yeah. Keep that elbow completely straight. Now, I want you to run through that sequence. Up, out, and down is one. I want you to do eight of those in a row and just super slow on the way back. Now, the idea behind this is not that we're just improving straight strength of the muscles, but because we're going very slow on the way back, we're tempoing the amount of speed as far as we're coming back, we're improving stability. And again, strength is different than stability because strength is only your ability to produce force. Whereas stability is your ability to limit excessive or unwanted motion, basically control the movement capabilities that you do have. And it's often not a case that we develop these injuries because we are weak, but it's because we have a lack of strength. We have a lack of control. So doing something like this is enhancing your posterior chain stability in regards to how we have control over the shoulder. How are you feeling this one? Good. Burning the left side of the shoulder, yeah, it huh? Is, it is. Yep. Yeah, go slow on the way back. So out, good, and then nice and slow. Very good, very good.
Good work. What number is that? Um, I'm gonna do the last one now. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, so let's see this. I want you to jump back over here on the Aleco bench and let's see if your mobility got any better, your overhead movement capabilities. Okay. So from right here with the shoulder internally rotated, look at that. So Evan, come over here from the side, internally rotated. Remember before we were stuck like there, yeah. that hurt. Look at all that motion. Wow. And we didn't do any stretching. No. We didn't do any mobility work. No. What we did was prime the backside of that shoulder yeah. to help keep the shoulder joint in a better position. The other time it felt like a blockage. It felt like a blockage. Like there's something blocking. Like, exactly. You know, that, like I can't go further. And now look how much more motion you have. Yeah. So let's instantly get up here and retry your squat, uh, your uh, overhead press. Let's see what that looks like now. That feels better. There you go. Wow. <laughs> there you go. All right. So feels pretty good, huh? Yeah. So there you guys go. The idea behind today's video is that first and foremost, shoulder impingement is a junk term. It could mean a number of different things that are leading to that pinching sensation in the shoulder. It could be on the front, could be on the back side. That's the difference between internal and external impingement, something that we're not even gonna go in depth in yet in this video. But you have to have an evaluation to screen out exactly what's causing the problem. Is it a flexibility issue? Is it a strength and stability issue? Do your evaluation, find out. Always test and retest based on what you found today, lack of strength and stability on yes. that side, we did a, two exercises yeah. that improved that stability and instantly improved your mobility motion and then carried over to less pain during an overhead press. I, I'm surprised. <laughs> that's what we do. That's, that's the magic of physical therapy. Just a quick athlete update. I remember visiting Scott University and uh, that's Dr. Aaron Oshig, uh, I think January early this year, towards the end of uh january and uh before my departure he gave me some uh, physical therapist exercises for me to do for my shoulder for, and i could see um a lot of improvement especially with my bench press i've been able to do a lot of wide grip stuff been able to do some incline bench press there's a kind of fluidity on my shoulders right now so i just want to give a quick shout out to dr aaron for helping me out with those exercises and uh but i could tell you those 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 things work work for me um i don't feel any nagging pain after my pressing session you know there's a lot of mobility you know in my shoulder i'm able to raise up my hand far above my head more than i do before so just this is just a quick shout out and an athlete update for dr aaron <laughs> thank you guys so again, guys, thanks so much for checking out today's show. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if you're enjoying the value that I'm bringing you with Squat University, please subscribe to my channel. Also, go check out my man Olu's uh, YouTube channel and follow him. And I'll also link his channel, uh, Instagram handle as well in the description of this video below. Um, until next time, guys, happy squatting. Happy squatting. <laughs> they say that. Energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people have.